XLM, we start with one of our chart. First of all, if you refer to our analysis, we have been looking for buy, and this is what we get. And even if we, if anyone get the trade from here, from this move, and the targets could be 27% based on 0 0.37. And if we consider as a 61% of the FIB, which is 0 0.386, as we can see the price almost near to the first target. And after that drop, no one see. Still, we want to see whether, the, I mean, if we're looking for continuation, we want to see whether the price can break this soon or not. Anyway, we move to higher time frame. We want to see what we are looking for. I mean, what we can look for. Again, if we refer to our analysis, we have been looking for reversal. This is what we get. We want to see whether the price can continue and retest the previous stop or not. This is what we have been looking for and what we have been discussing. Okay, because we mentioned we're looking for the chart as a drop. We have been looking for this one. That's why we mentioned if we get any reversal, we can look for buy. And right now we get this one. That means the price reverse. No one see whether this one can turn to a deeper correction for continuation or not. The only things I need to highlight here that since there was no divergence between these two moves, may we can get one move up internal flat price drop before we get the reverse. So we need to be aware about this. Okay, that's mean still I'm looking for continuation, but we need to be aware about bigger picture. Most of the charts they have the similar movement, and right now I'm looking for the flat. Okay, I'm looking at this one. If we get any trades at all for buy, we will take it and we still really can consider this moves. I mean, we want to see the breakout of this song. Okay, but after the price broke the top, we need to refer to the indicators whether we have a divergence or not. It depends how the price can break as a sharp move or corrective move. Anyway, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. 